Hi, my name is Dan Shigori. I'm Jim Goulet. I'm Melody Norman Camp. And we're here uh, representing a project that we'd like to have done to the Hubbard Free Library in Hollowell. It is the oldest library that's purpose built as a library, still operating in Maine. And it's a beautiful building. If you want to take a look in the, the packets there, there's some pictures of the library. And if you look beyond the first couple of pages, you'll see why the work needs to be done. <laughs> It's um, a really stunning building. It's on the National Historic Register. It looks like a church. My kids call, actually call it the Book Church. And uh, it's got a slate roof, which is good because the slate roof has been in place since it was first opened, but that was 130 years ago, and it does finally need to be replaced. And uh, because we're on the National Historic Register and we're in the historic section of Hollowell, it has to be a slate roof again. So that's a, a fairly pricey undertaking, but hopefully it won't have to be done again for another 130 years. <laughs> and uh, also, the heating plant in the building is uh, is old and not up to, it's inefficient for one thing, but also it can't adequately do its job. If the temperature goes below zero, we have to close the library because we can't get the temperature inside much above 50. And uh, that's a real problem. And while we're doing that, we've gotten some estimates we can add an air conditioning system because also in, in the summer, if it gets too hot, we have to close because the stone is beautiful, but it holds the heat. Yeah. And it, it doesn't tend to cool off all that much. And if you have a good run of three or four hot days, it just gets very warm inside. Um, it's a, not just because of its beauty and because it's the library, but it's also a special place for Hollowell. First of all, in this, these times, it's, it's critical that it maintain being open because it's the only place in town where there's free internet access. Mm -hmm. So people that are job searching come in there frequently and use the computers. Um, kids go in there after school, and, and again, they've all got the laptops now, so they go in there and they use their laptops and the free Wi-Fi. And uh, it's also one of the few buildings where there's it's just some place to go and congregate, and people can go and meet, and it's a, it's a very friendly, open, welcoming place. And uh, we also have some issues with the structure of the building. It looks like, as I said, a church, and it's got the flying buttresses on the side. And over time, the sides are starting to spread some. So we need to do something to suck the sides back together again. And um, we've talked about Jim is our uh, structural guy. He can tell you about that if you have any questions about it. We have to put something in to pull the sides back together. And also, the handicapped accessibility, as you look through the pictures, the last two pictures <coughs> in there are of the very long walkway that is required to get into the only street level entrance to the building. And we want to change that so that there's something, an easier way for handicapped access and also to make the bathroom handicapped accessible. Okay.